Good afternoon, everyone. How are we doing today? His brother was preaching on the train earlier. A lot of us read books all day long, but I want to tell you about the most read book, the most inspired book, the most quoted book. It's the Word of God. And the Bible says, all have sinned and fell short of the glory of God. There's not one that is righteous. There's no one that can stand before a holy God on judgment day for God's standard. And God's standard is the Ten Commandments. The Ninth Commandment is, thou shalt not lie. If you lied one time, God would see you as a liar. Well, that was a long time ago. Time doesn't pay for the crime. God would see you as a liar. The Eighth Commandment is, thou shalt not steal. The value is irrelevant. If you have stolen something, God would see you as a thief. And that would never change. And God has pointed men once to die, and that after that is the judgment. Now the third commandment is, thou shalt not take the Lord's name in vain. You know, I put on the TV, watching a show, and for some reason somebody's got to take God's name in vain. We don't take our mother's name in vain. We don't take our father's name in vain. But when you take the God of the universe name in vain, the Bible says it'll hold you accountable on judgment day. The God of the universe, the Bible says that God holds your breath in his hands. The air in your lungs is a gift from God. And when you take his name in vain, the Bible clearly says you'll be held accountable on judgment day. By that standard, you got to be honest. How can I stand before a holy, righteous God on judgment day? How can I do it? You broke God's law, all have sin. You need a savior. You need somebody to step up in your place. You need a mediator. And it's not Michael the Archangel. The Bible says salvation is of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Nor is there salvation in any other. There's no name under heaven. You must be saved except through Jesus Christ. He's the only one that can fill the gap. It's Jesus Christ. Not your church. Not the watchtower. There's only one meeting between man and God. And that is Christ Jesus. Jesus laid his life down. Took the wrath of God for your sins. So you could stand before a holy, righteous God on Judgment Day. And that is the greatest news. The Bible says there is no greater love except for a friend to lay his life down. Jesus knew no sin, became sin, took our sin, and he nailed it to the cross. Praise the Lord. So you could stand before God on Judgment Day. Well, you know, there's a lot of different religions. I was down in Newark speaking to a lot of Muslims. What does God want payment of my sins? Moses said the blood atoned for the soul. John says, look, the lamb, then come take away the sins of the world. The only thing God will accept for your sins is the blood of Jesus Christ. Without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sins. Jesus said, nobody takes my life. I freely give it. I could send out legions of angels, but I willingly lay my life down in your place and take the wrath of God so you can stand before a holy, righteous God on Judgment Day. And that is the greatest news. Not only that, Jesus told the Pharisees, if you destroy my body, I'll rebuild it. On the third day, Thomas, John 20, 24, they call him Doubting Thomas, but he said, unless I see the nails in Jesus' hands, I won't believe him. When Jesus comes out of the grave, he shows Thomas, look at the nails in my hands. And the next thing, Thomas says, tells Jesus, my Lord and my God. Praise the Lord. Jesus should rebuke him for saying that, but Jesus said, because you've seen, you believe. Blessed are the ones who haven't seen and believe. Jesus was the word that became flesh, that laid his life down. God did not create an angel to die in your place. He came down in the flesh and lifted his life up, took the wrath of God for your sins, so you could stand before God on Judgment Day. And that is the greatest news. Through God's grace we're saved through faith. It's a gift of God, not by works. No man should boast. I'm not out here preaching the gospel because I have to. A Christian is a Christian because he does, not because he does good works, but he does good works because of what Jesus did on the cross. Like a dog barks, not to become a dog, a dog barks because he's a dog, because he's a dog. A lot of people say, well, I gotta do good works to go to heaven. Well, that's a lie from the devil. Through God's grace, you're saved through faith. It's a gift of God, not by works. No man should boast. Ephesians 2.8. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. He's the only mediator. 
He's the only Savior that God will accept for your sins on Judgment Day. So it's my prayer that you call on Jesus Christ today. Repent and put your trust in Jesus Christ. Nor is there salvation in any other. There's no name under heaven given amongst men in which you must be saved except through Jesus Christ. Call on Him, repent, and put your trust in Jesus Christ. Not in the Watchtower, not in the Catholic Church, in Jesus Christ alone. There's only one name between man and God, and that's Christ Jesus. So I come out here because the Bible says, love thy neighbor. So I tell you the good news, I tell you the gospel, so you can stand before God on Judgment Day and spend eternity in heaven. Either God is your judge or He's your Father. My prayer is when you stand before Him, He's your Father and you spend eternity in heaven. Without that shedding of blood, your sins will not be paid for. That's the only reason why Jesus died. Jesus said, nobody takes my life. I freely give it. I could send now legions of angels, but He lifted His life up, took the wrath of God for our sins, so you could stand before God on Judgment Day. And that is the greatest news. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Acts 4.12, nor is there salvation in any other. There's no name under heaven given amongst men in which you must be saved except through Jesus Christ. Listen, Jesus was not politically correct. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, the life. No one comes to the Father except through Jesus Christ. today and repent Praise the Lord. and put your trust in Him alone. That's why the Bible says there's only one meter between man and God, and that's not the Virgin Mary, it's not the Watchtower, it's not the Mormon Church, it's Jesus Christ. Put all your trust in Him. Amen. When Jesus was on the cross, He said it was finished. Telestai, Greek word, meant paid in full. And the curtain tore in half. Through Jesus you go straight to the holies of holies. He was without sin, took your sin, nailed it to the cross, so you could stand before God on Judgment Day. So I come out here in love because look what happened to Michael Jackson. He wasn't guaranteed tomorrow. He wasn't guaranteed to do those 50 concerts. He was taken out just like that. And we all could stand before God. And if you're not covered by the blood of the Lamb, you will have to pay for your sins in hell forever and ever and ever. So call on Jesus Christ today. The Bible says, do not be afraid of one that can destroy your body. Be afraid of one that can destroy your body and throw your soul in hell. And that's in Matthew 10. Open the Bible. Test all things. Thank you for your time. we got free material. My prayer is you call on Jesus Christ today and eternity heaven. Thank you. One way to heaven. His name is Jesus Christ who died for you, who suffered for you. Repent before it's too late. Oh, don't play games with your soul. Cry out to God. Turn to Him.